one day, Jesus is going to walk through the doors of history again. And we are all going to meet him. See, Jesus is a unbelievable, loving, kind, generous, humble, sacrificial savior. But Jesus is also a warrior king and a righteous judge. And the world is waiting for his return. So the scene opens, that heaven opens, and there's someone sitting on there on a white horse, his name is Faithful and True. And this is Jesus coming back. He's called Faithful and True. He's faithful to his promises. He's true, meaning he's a real thing. It's really him. And the same hand that was pierced for you will one day wipe away every tear from your eyes. See, the best part of heaven is not the absence of suffering, but the best part of heaven is the presence of God. See, God has always wanted to dwell with his people. I think sometimes we read Revelation 21 and we think, man, I cannot wait to see God. But who did all the work to see us? God is the one that is eagerly excited to return and be with his people. He can't wait to see you. At some point, Jesus is going to step through the door of history and we're going to see him face to face and he's going to bring us into his heavenly kingdom. It is the final promise in all of scripture. So we eagerly await. Can't wait. Guys, we have been living for him, living for this man that we've never seen, but one day we're gonna see him and we're gonna dwell with him and be with him forever. Surely, surely he is coming soon. He's a God who makes his promises and he keeps them.